Hello. Here is a real life application. Space. Okay, and the satellites in the space. So you can be a rocket scientist. The problem says, a weather satellite is circulating around Earth. It completes one revolution in two hours and is orbiting 2200 kilometer above Earth's surface. How far does the satellite travel in 15 minutes? Assume Earth's radius to be 6400 kilometer. Okay. So basically, let's try to visualize. Let's take this to be our Earth, okay? And now our satellite is moving around it. So let's say this is the satellite moving around this Earth. Okay, these are not so good circles. Very difficult to draw them in any case. And uh, so let's say this is our position of the satellite. Now. What is going to be the distance from center to here? We know from center, we see like this. It's orbiting 2200 kilometers above Earth's surface. So, this is 2200 and 6400 is the kilometer distance from center to the Earth itself. So, we are taking from the center, the core, right? So, 6400 is this. We'll write 6400 is from here to here. And then we'll add 2200, which is this, right? We'll say this as 2200, okay? So the total will be, you got to add them both, right? <clears throat> so 22 and 64 will give us 8600, okay? Okay. So, and let's say it moves, it's orbiting in this direction. Let's say that's our position. It moves, let us say this much, in 15 minutes, right? It goes from position A. To position B and that's the center of the earth. The total from here to here as you say 6400 plus 2200 is 8600 right. So let me write 8600 like this right. Okay so that we know right. How far does the satellite travel in 15 minutes? So how far it travels we know we, this is, makes an angle theta and makes this arc right. Now this arc is how far it travels, this circular, this is one particular sector and if we find theta, the angle it travels, correct? That is if I, and if I could find this angle, theta, right? Then we know r theta is the arc length, right? So from A to B, correct? So uh, that is what we know. Now how are we going to find this theta? We can find this by the orbiting speed, right? It says what? Well, Whether satellite is circulating around Earth, it completes one revolution in two hours. So now one revolution in two hours. So when, when we say one revolution in two hours, right? Now one revolution means what? One revolution in radians will mean like one full circle, correct? And in doing so, we do 2 pi radians. So we can write 2 pi radians, right, in 2 hours. Now, we need to find how far does its satellite travel in 15 minutes, okay. So we can say, well, 2 pi radians in 2 hours. So in 1 hour, how much? So we say pi radians. We divide by, right, so pi radians in one hour, right? It makes sense, right? Pi radians in one hour. How about 15 minutes? 15 minutes is one fourth of an hour, right? So, so in 15 minutes, which is like one fourth of an hour, right? One fourth of an hour, correct? We need to find how many radians, right? It should be pi times one fourth. Is it okay? Simple. So it is pi by four radians, correct? So we know this theta is pi by 4, correct? So theta equals to pi by 4 and we know r is uh, 8600, right? Therefore a should be product of this, right? A jolt our triangle, right? Don't forget that triangle. Let me make this triangle here. Always good to, you know, define the relationship. This is our relationship. 
I'm drawing it again and again so that you remember, right? So a equals to r theta and we say, well, now a is equals to r is 86 hundred times pi by 4. Correct? You can always calculate this value. Well, you can use calculator. Simplify. Whenever the pi is here, we need a calculator. So it is 8600 as a divide by 4 equals to 2150 times pi equals to 2150 pi. I'll change it to decimals. And it gives me a result which says 6754 point. We can forget about point, right? So many units are kilometers, correct? So that's how you find the distance traveled. That is the arc A, right? In, the, in our diagram AB, right? So that's how easy it is. So basically it boils down to finding the angle in radians, right? That to a number which we are not sure of what it is. That you can define in space that how much the satellite has exactly moved. That's the beauty of uh, this radiant thing, okay, discovered so early, ages, ages before our computers came. I hope you appreciate the method and go through more examples. I've got a lot of examples now on this application and understand how to use it. It's, it's very useful. Thank you.